Hi, and welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner, and today I'm going to have a first look at React Native. Um, so I haven't programmed with React Native before. I've done a fair bit with React. Uh, React Native is a way to use the React syntax for building native apps, specifically native to iOS. So uh, I guess they're going to come out with a version for Android in the future, but just for now, it's only working on iOS. Um, so I'm going to—I'm just on the React Native homepage, I guess. And if you click Get it Started with React Native, uh, here's the steps for getting started. And so this video, I'm just going to work through these steps. Okay, so I've already um, worked through the first three of these. I needed to download Xcode, which itself needed me to upgrade my Mac, so I had to do that, and that took uh, about an hour. I had to upgrade to Mavericks, and then I had to download Xcode, and I already had Homebrew installed, but it messed up, I guess from upgrading, it messed up my, the permissions on my user local folder, so I had to debug that for a while, and I got that working. So now I'm going to continue with step four of requirements and just get use homebrew to install node, to install watchman, and flow. Uh, I don't know if I need flow or watchman, but I will install them anyway because it doesn't hurt or I don't expect it to hurt. So I already have node, but I'll install it with homebrew and do the same for watchman and do the same for flow all right so once i have those installed that's pretty much it for software requirements now i can uh, install react native cli which i think stands for command line interface and then i will so the next step is to install that the dash g means global um, so I'll probably have to do this with sudo. And so that's installing React Native as a command line program that I can use, I guess, to set up a project. Okay, so that seems done. And then next step is to call that new command line React Native init to initialize awesome project. So I'm not going to call it Awesome Project. Um, yeah, why not? I'll call it Awesome Project. So I'm in my uh, I'm in a folder I created React Native demo, but I'll just uh, run that. And it says this will walk. Oh, failed. This will walk you through creating a new React Native project in blah blah blah. So. There was an error because it couldn't open a lock file. Um, and then it freaked out because it can't unlock a file which hasn't been locked. Ah, that's too bad. So, what can I do to get it working? Let's just try running React Native by itself. That seems fine. If I do init um, test, that should fail. That should fail, but I thought it would. Let's look in this locks folder, see if there actually is anything. Nothing. What's in the npm folder? Is there a locks folder? Well, there's a lot of stuff in there. At the top, I guess. So what are the permissions on locks? Oh, it's set to root. <clears throat> so how about I change the owner to Jesse on uh, that locks folder. Change the owner, Jesse. Uh, do that as sudo. And maybe now it'll work. Seems to be working seems to be creating a new React Native project, which is what I want to do. And this is, looks like working, I guess. 
All right, <clears throat> so it says next steps are open my the awesome project dot Xcode proj in Xcode and hit run. And let me just double check. So that is what they want me to do here. They in my newly created awesome project folder, open awesome project dot Xcode proj and hit run in Xcode. And then open index.ios.js in my text editor and edit some lines and let's see if that works. So um so I wanna open awesome project.xcode proj. So what I'm gonna do, um I'll open Sublime here. Uh So I want to open this folder, I guess, in Xcode. So I'm going to just, uh, I just want to open this up in Finder. And then I'll just double click the Xcode project and that I assume will open up in Xcode. Um, so it wants me to install some extra stuff, that's fine. Hopefully it's quick. It's pretty quick. So I've never run Xcode before, I don't think. Uh, so I don't really know what it is. I think it's, I know it's for making apps for iPhone and iPad. Um, not really sure what else it is, and I'm not really sure what React Native will look like inside of it, but we'll find out in a minute or so. All right, seems to be done, and it's loading, and I don't know if it's still loading or if this is it. Okay, I see a little progress coming. It says processing files. Kind of exciting. We will see what awesome project is. So I guess this is the default um, whenever you install React Native app. I'm not sure. Okay, it seems like it's done, I guess. And I'm supposed to click the run button. Is it this play button? Probably. Uh, so, enable developer mode on this Mac. So, if I enable, then I don't have to type in my password every time. Sure, why not? So, I'll type in my password one last time. Now. Oh, oh, oh. It's running Packager on port 8081, which I guess is how React Native works. It says, keep this packager running while developing on any JavaScript projects. Feel free to close this tab and run your own packager instance if you prefer. And so I guess this is just a console that will run in the background while my app is running. But my app isn't running, or I guess it's still working on it. Okay, waiting, waiting, waiting. Build succeeded, and... I'm waiting for, I guess, an iPhone to pop up. Here we go. There's my awesome project. Oh, what's happening? Welcome to React Native. To get started, edit index.ios.js. Press Command R to reload, Command D or Shake for dev menu. I don't know how to shake, so. Try Command D. Oh, I guess. I don't know. I hit Command D, but nothing's happening, so. Oh, there it is. So I can reload, debug in Chrome, debug in Safari, enable live reload, start profiling. That's pretty cool. Uh, cancel right now. So let's get. Let's edit index.ios.js and reload. So if I switch over to Sublime, all right, it's right here in the root of Awesome Project. There it is. And 
let's see. There's not much to it. It's just, uh, I guess, some styling and some markup, some React JSX markup, and that's about it. So what do I want to change? I can say, welcome to coding with Jesse, how about? So I'll save that. I'll switch back to my iOS simulator. Hit Command R, and there we go. That's pretty cool. So I made an iPhone app, I guess. Not a very good one, but I made one all the same. So next steps will be trying to figure out what the syntax is like on an iPhone. I see they have view, text. So find out what what else uh, they have for tags, and find out what the CSS is like because I'm already seeing the first three things here are a little different than I'm used to. Align items, justify content. So I guess uh, you're gonna have to learn how to code iOS apps, I guess. But kind of cool to be able to do it with JavaScript and. Yeah, it wasn't too difficult. Um, I think Xcode was harder to get set up than React Native, but now that my uh, permissions are all figured out, I uh, should be able to get going. All right, well, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.